Hello there everyone, welcome to my channel. And um, this I'm Amanda and I have a cute little haul for you from Doodlebug. I had the opportunity to purchase some Doodlebug, um, you know, the fairy tale line and I, I snapped it up. What can I say? I think there's something just so cute about Doodlebug and it's different from my traditional favorites like uh, graphic 45 and stuff like that but I just really like it because the things are so cute so let's just dig in and I'll show you what I have here so starting with some washi tape let's look at the dragons first I think I like these the best maybe the like little dragons they look a little bit like Loch Ness monster <laughs> to me um so they're so cute and you've got like Let's see, let me put my hand back here if it'll um, put it more in focus for you. And um, you have like the head and then the body coming up out of the water. So it's really super cute. And then other than the dragons, after the dragons, it's called a sea serpent. So maybe it is cl closer to uh, the Loch Ness Monster than a dragon. My fault. I guess I was thinking dragon because I also have this cute little washi tape called Dragon's Breath. And I thought the two could be used together, but maybe I'm thinking wrong now. I'm not so sure. So this is really cute. The next washi tape I have is called Little Unicorn. And you can see the top of the little unicorns with the rainbow um, mane and tail. And then this is what it looks like here. So it's so cute. Very whimsical. I think this doodlebug is very whimsical. And then we have happy skies, which is rainbows and clouds. And again, super cute. This is kind of hard to see on the washi tape because it's um, a little transparent. So the rainbows show through on the other, from behind, but it's really cute too. Take my word for it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, the next thing I have, let's see. I will go into this first before I get into the fairy tale stuff because this is it was kind of like a one-off it's um, the odds and ends for the cream and sugar line and I think I might have ordered some stuff to go with this and it was out of stock so I'm gonna hold up this right here so you can see all the adorable little ephemera pieces you've got coffee cups and coffee mugs and you know banners and teas and cakes and it is just really cute i mean like look at this iced coffee i really really like this and i thought this would make i mean look at the donuts they're so cute and i thought this would make nice um cards that's kind of what i had in mind for this but i could also use it in a mini album and um if you are one that makes planner clips these would make great planner clips i mean just look at that I think there was a stamp set and die cuts that go with it that was the coffee cups and I really wish I had got those because I don't think I ordered those. I ordered something else that didn't come in with this but it wasn't the templates and the stamps. But now I'm wishing I had got those because they're so cute. And I've seen some people do some videos on them that are absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have this 6x6 paper pad called Fairy Tales. And I, I, I know my, my light is just really glaring. I've really got to fix that. But So anyway, this is the 6x6 paper pad. And it has all these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces here pastel colors and I'm going to flip through this real quick so that you can get an idea of what's in here because and I'm going to turn it sideways because both sides of the paper are just really adorable I mean this is like little uh, asterisks very cute we've got some pink and some diagonal rainbows um, let's just I'll put it down here and we'll just hold this up for a minute. There we go. Um, balloons in different shapes, more asterisks, but kind of like in a banner um, pattern. Rainbows and clouds and dots like sprinkles. Some cut apart cards that are just adorable. Um, presents and balloons. 
some borders, um, unicorns in a purple clouds, purple florals, and then rainbow florals, orange floral and rainbow hearts, which is so cute, but it'll make your eyes go buggy. Some pink hearts and some pink castles in the sky. Very cute. This little scene here is adorable. This make a great cover on a mini book. Some p larger polka dots. More clouds and rainbow flowers. Purple clouds. And then we're back to like the, the conglom conglomeration of the rainbows, the castles, the unicorns, everything together. So this is just really, really cute paper pad, and this comes with 24 double-sided um, cardstock pieces. So it's usually around $5.99, I believe. Um, I'll see if I can find a link for these items. I don't know that I can, but I'll try to put a link below if anybody wants that. Now this here, I opened one of the packages, and it was planner clips that were uniform unicorns and castles. I apologize. It's not on the original sheet, but I don't know what I was thinking when I went ahead and opened it and threw away the package, but that's the unicorn. So, so cute. And then this is what the castle looks like. And there were six of each. So And this is the picture, this is the clip of the plant, of the clip. This is a pic of the clip. So it's really cute. I'm going like, to see if I can, um, if we just like stick it on here, you'll see what it looks like. And there you go. A nice little clip. So I have them all in my little Ziploc bag here. I wasn't intending... I did. I mean, I didn't really intend to do that before I videoed. I don't know why I did because I didn't use them either. So this next package is, um, it's called uh, the Doodlebug Essentials. And what I found is it's a little bit of everything in this package that you can use to make, you know, a couple of scrapbook layouts, mini books, some um, cards, whatever. And that's what I have here. And I will open it. But um, before I do that, I wanted to show you that it has ribbon, buttons, the stickers, and then alphabet stickers, and then these papers down here, and I will show them to you. And then on the back, it also gives an example of how these things were used for a scrapbook layout, which is so cute. So let's open this. Sometimes um, you can get packages of doodlebug stuff like this at Pat Catan's. Um, which is a craft store. I don't know if you have it around you, but it's um, a store that Michael's just purchased. They used to be a separate entity and Michael's purchased them not too long ago. And sometimes you can get packages of the doodle bug like this for like $10. So it's like a really good deal. And, um, and other than that, I'll see if I can put a link down there for you. Um, not necessarily the pack tan, so I'm not sure you can buy online there or that they would even have it, but it's just a suggestion if you have one in your area, sometimes they can have good deals. So inside are these pretty little buttons. So cute. I love how colorful everything is and it just, everything goes together. With a doodle bug, everything in that line, it just all works. So like this is um, cake and ice cream assortment. And you can see they all go together. And this ribbon is called Lime Ricky. I'm going to go ahead and open this one also. Just because I want to I want to feel the texture of the ribbon. So it's a gross grain. And it's really, really cute. I love the purple and the lime together. It's awesome. And if we take the buttons out of the package, okay, get this, some of the shine off. You can see how well these all go together. So these would be perfect. Also inside the package is the sticker sheet. And you kind, everything's kind of like taped together so it doesn't move, which is very much appreciated. 
Um, so this is all the rainbow stickers. We've got hats and presents, clouds, rainbows, balloons. I love this magical print, magical word here in rainbow. And then down here it has birthday. So when these make some great birthday cards or invitations. If you did like handmade invitations for a girl's birthday party, this would be like the perfect, perfect assortment to get because you would have everything you'd need to make some, um, just add some white card stock or pink or whatever. This is several different types of alphabet stickers. You've got round ones with a mix of capital and lowercase. And then you've got square ones the same with the mix of capital and lowercase. And then again, you've kind of got a, a kind of like a, it's not really a script, but it's kind of more casual, I would say, loosely drawn, um, upper and lowercase. And these are very whimsical. Love them. So now let's look at the paper. This is the big piece of all the assortment, the rainbow, the princess castle, the ice cream coats. I'm, I'm serious. The more I look at this, the more I think this is perfect for a girl's birthday. And then on the inside it says, and I'm right, cause this is hello birthday girl, sweet. And an ice cream cone. You've got, you make me happy when skies are gray. That's so cute. Um, a little unicorn blowing out candles and all these little words here you brighten my day good good times time to celebrate with love just because hello sweet girl a wish come true so magical for you etc so that's one and these are different from the six by six because well six by six obviously the graphics are smaller but i think there might be a little bit more of an assortment there so we've got our clouds on the blue background and large polka dots. Then we have one of my favorite pieces, which is the princess castle in the sky. Because, you know, it just reminds me of a little girl dreaming about being a princess. You know, the clouds representing a dream and then the big princess castle. And then this lovely, lovely main um, scene here. This would be a perfect scrapbook page too, I think. That's cute. And we have some uh, pur purple, lime, yellow, orange, pink, um, and dark pink rainbow diagonals. And then this lovely thing of balloons. This is gorgeous. Um, all kinds of presents. And you know what I think I might do with this is I have a niece who will be five next year in not in less than a year away it'll be in uh february of next year and i think i will make her a little mini scrapbook using all this because i think it'd be gorgeous this is the borders i uh, love it and then you've got your unicorns in the sky with the purple clouds and then plain purple spongy like dots so this is really really cute paper and most doodle bug stuff is cute if nothing else it just brings a smile to your face when you, i mean this isn't my traditional style of paper that i work with but that doesn't mean i don't like it i just because i love it it's i love everything about it and i'm going to use it i think to make that mini book i don't know what i'm going to use these two for yet the sea serpent and the fire I'm really not sure. I'll have to think about that. Wait, anyway, this is my haul from Doodlebug. <laughs> this is the Fairy Tales for Girls edition. There is a Fairy Tales for Boys edition. Um, and maybe I'll put a link to that too if I can find it. That's the caveat. I'm not sure I can find it. And anyway, I hope you found something here that you liked. And maybe it'll inspire you to be creative and do something um, cool creatively. So thanks a lot, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.